Hey yo, what's up? Right now you're watching Day Talents TV. This is a tutorial for FL Studio, and I'm about to show you how to add drum kits to FL Studio. As you notice, when you first open FL Studio, you're always gonna see a kick, a clap, a hat, and a snare. Now, the default sounds only go so far. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're really trying to step your game up, you gotta get some high samples. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have your kicks hit and your 808s hit, and you want your track to be banging. Well, as you know, when it comes to making club beats, I do my thing. So I'm, right now, I'm about to show y'all how to put drum kits to FL Studio. Now, what you do is that you go to Start, My Computer, click on C. After that, you're going to go to program files for program files you're going to find image line okay the reason I didn't show you is the fact that my I have a couple different hard drives and I have every, all my everything on my computer set up differently so it's not going to be the same so I didn't want to confuse you so that's why I didn't show you mine but when you get to the folder called image line it's going to be like this as you see I have FL Studio 8 and FL Studio 9 well right now we're using FL Studio 9 Okay, so I'm gonna open this folder. Like I said, your artist is the same. As soon as you get to the folder image line, then you'll be alright. From there, click on FL Studio line, or if you have it, whatever version you have, it's gonna be the same, same process. From there, you're gonna click on data, and you're gonna find the folder called patches. Okay, from patches, yours probably will just say it will just have packs right here. Mine, I have another folder that I named FL Studio 9. Okay, from there, see here, here goes folder packs. Now, from there, what we're going to do is that as soon as you get the drum kit, over here, J Sounds Hip Hop Kit. This year, I'm going to be releasing kits from all different genres for about only $9.99, about $10 a kit. It's going to contain at least over 300 of the best quality sounds you could possibly have and need so with that said you see the kit right here JT claps, percussion, kick, sound effects, loops now what we're going to do is that we're going to take this folder and we're going to go back to packs take this and we're going to drag it now you see it's in the folder called packs open FL Studio again now from here, you're gonna see it's right here. Click this, click on packs, and this is the browser right here. This is the browser. This is where you find all your samples. Whenever you download drum kits, they're, they're gonna go like they're gonna be right here. All right. Now you see J Town's hip hop kit. Now, for example, whenever you're making like like a um hip hop, well me personally when I'm making hip hop, it's usually around 95 beats per minute. I mean that's just for the general average hip hop track. But if you listen to these original kicks that come with a FL Studio, like it's not real real bad, but I mean like I said, you got if you want to step your game up, you gotta have some high samples, so Alright. That just sound kinda boring. <laughs> so now we're gonna find try this kick this kick right here we got this clap right here let's find a clap this kick is definitely not done by the time I'm done with my, the J-Towns hip hop kick there's going to be mad claps kicks everything you could possibly need you know what I'm saying like this year I'm trying to do something for charity and raise some money you know what I'm saying help the streets of North Philly you know what I'm saying get these kids out these streets already cause it's crazy out here man you know what I'm saying like I'm trying to do big things, I'm trying to help people out. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm all about. Alright, but we got a clap. Put this clap right here. I'm just showing you this just so you can see the point of adding more drum kits. The difference, and I mean, if if you was to keep on using the same kicks and claps and snares and hi hats and everything, like, your beats are eventually are all going to sound the same and that's not something you want to happen alright this is the mixer right here 
insert one, find fruity reverb, and lower the reverb, reverb down to about 11, around there. Let's use this clap, effect one, and this is what it sounds like now. And real quick, we're just going to go into the sound effects folder. Uh, get the breath sound effect. Click on normalize. Whenever you see a, whenever you see the um wave of the audio real real low, you're always gonna want to click on normalize because that basically gets the volume at a normal level where it's able like you're able to use it. When it's too too low, you know what I'm saying you don't you don't want to put the volume all the way up. I'll get into mixing like on another video. For now, we're gonna keep it about drum kits. As you see, I clicked on fill each step that puts one here and one here. Click back on here, click on function. See, it says echo delay, feed, put the feed up a little bit. And let's see what it sounds like. There you go. That right there was just an example. I hope you subscribe to my channel. Check me out at soundclick.com slash jtalents. Signing out. JTalents TV.